Hey YouTube! I just wanted to come to you guys with some really quick ideas for um, storage for makeup and for jewelry. I did a video the other day and this was on the Dollar Tree finds that I found. These are the heart shape um, makeup holders for cosmetics and then I found the round ones. This is the result after me filling them up. <laughs> this is the round one. And as you see, I put in my regular lipsticks in here, a brush. In the center, you can put your liners, your lip liners, eyebrow pencils, things of that nature. Same thing with this one. Uh, let me see. Here, there is actually another little heart shape right here, if you can see it. So I'll put, I'll just fill that up with liners. And this one I have predominantly my lip glosses. And this one is my regular lipsticks. And you all know I bought about six of these. Um, I gifted, I believe, three to my daughter and then three or four for myself. So I bought a couple of them and I've, um, she's already put hers to use. But that's what they look like. So you can definitely line up your dresser or your little um, cosmetic area and just have them organized. Um, me personally, I got them because I am no longer going to continue to keep purchasing lipsticks and any type of makeup and not totally use them. So I will replace them after I use them. Like this one is really totally gone, so I almost have to stand up on it to get something out of it. So that's fine. That slot will be free, so then it's okay to buy another one. But I want to just keep on using them up, and then I'll go back and purchase some more. For my jewelry organizer, you guys never see this because it's always on my dresser and I don't showcase my room, but um, you all know I'm a Tracy Lynn, um, Tracy Lynn um, fashion jewelry consultant and this is how I house my statement pieces. So these are actually sitting on my dresser. These are my more expensive stands. These are also the stands that I do shows with. But this um, particular piece has been worn, I think, by two of the housewives. So that is one of our boutique um, pieces. Actually, I think that one's out of the celebrity um, because we have certain jewelry that's for celebrities, and then we have some for boutique, which are all of these things are outside of our um, catalog. So they are more expensive, but they're also more exquisite. You you don't just see your everyday lady walking by with them on. When I wore this particular piece, I went down to South Florida, uh, Boca. I was going on a cruise or something. I don't recall where I was going. But I only bring this out for those type of events, like when I'm really stepping out. Not for one of these little local Atlanta clubs. <laughs> so, um, I wore this every... You don't understand. I got stopped so much for this that... <laughs> He was about to, he was like, why don't you just take that necklace off so we could get going. It was like, so, and believe it or not, it was way more Caucasian women um, than black or any other nationality asking me about, um, or ethnic group, whatever, um, asking me about this. And it's because it, when I tell you guys, it sparkles, it looks classy, it just sets the outfit off. And you do have to wear it with the correct outfit. Okay, another thing I got, uh, I had to go get my oil change today. So when I got there, they told me it was going to be about three hours. I mean, two hours. You know, she was not great to sit there for two hours. So I called my mom. I told her to go ahead and swing by and grab me. And we said we'll decide to go to the outlet and do some shopping. So I grabbed um, a few things. This is to house my jewelry. And as you can see, you can hang this up in your closet, but mine is actually going to be hang, hung on a nail on my wall in the area for my jewelry. This bracelet is brand new. I got it for Christmas. I've had one like it before. It is Tracy Lynn. It's a bangle. It is a $48 bangle, and it's called Bling It. But this one, um, it just lasts a lot longer because of the way it's made. Um, this is the bracelet called, um, this is the Big Love bracelet. It's in gold. It actually matches this one. I wear this a lot um, because I was so stuck on the silver. And then when they came out with the gold, I just had to have it. So um, those are my everyday pieces. Um, then I have another one here. It's a toggle bracelet. So I'm trying to put all my bracelets on one side and then put some necklaces and stuff on other sides. But as you can see, I can hang stuff everywhere. Here is the other one. 
I've started putting the jewelry on there. So I'll hang stuff as I go. And like I got these earrings, they're called Showstopper. They're actually gorgeous. And they're in gold. And I have the silver. And they are to die for. People just ask me about them all the time. But I wanted to just showcase that you can put them on these little um, hangers as well. And store your jewelry so that your stuff is just not all over the place. So those are my earrings. As you can see. Now what I'm going to do because um, Tracy Lynn recommends that you store our pieces in plastic. I'm going to get a larger piece of plastic and I'll actually be cutting a top, a hole in the top and I'll slip it over top of this entire thing to protect my jewelry. And yes, it will be see-through like this so that I can actually see what I have on display. But I will do that because believe it or not, the um, AC unit and you know where your heat and stuff come out after a while it will take a toll on your jewelry so you always want to protect your jewelry now i don't know about everywhere else but it got stark cold while i was out out at the outlets this evening in atlanta and this is sunday and it is january the 10th yes because it's one of my agent's birthday so i can't forget that it just dropped <laughs> it was just like i went in with like a little spring jacket it, in fact this one little old navy jacket by the time I came out, I was like, oh my God, okay, so I had to stop in the store and grab me a coat as well. <laughs> so I just grabbed this coat <laughs> while I was out, and I got it. I really love this, the leather patch on here and the zipper, but it's a little pea coat, and um, I just loved how it looked with the gold and stuff. But yeah, I had to grab that while I was down there. I didn't even rip the tag off of it yet. I just like grabbed it was like, oh, I'll take that and, and threw it on. So, <laughs> yeah, they thought I was crazy. Like, who does that? But um, anyway, so, uh, it like I said, it has gotten so cold. For people that have really dry skin, I'm not one of those people, but I am black. So, I do get ashy, and most of us do. Um, what I do to make my lotion last longer, um, particularly things that I don't like or I'm trying to get rid of, like this one I'm not really fond of, this Japanese Blossom. Eh, it's mediocre. It smells like, I don't know, like a light sweet tea or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm cool on that. But I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. So what I do, because I'm trying to get rid of this stuff because I'm not going to buy it anymore. Somebody gave it to me, and I'm like, okay, um, that, thank you, but no thank you. So what I've been doing is opening it up, and then I take this, which is the Vaseline intensive care oil when I tell you this goes through I use this one bottle for the entire winter I've had this one now for two winters I don't have to keep repurchasing because you literally only need a drop of this so this is what you do here's your lotion so if you're going to do your legs or something you probably need about that much for your lower extremity you literally only need this much watch there you go you put that in there mix it all in and when I tell you your skin is oiled for the remainder of the day, even being out in all of that, um, you know, wind blowing and all of that stuff matters not. You get the shine. I don't know if you guys can see it, but <laughs> you get your shine. Now you can't, I don't recommend using that oil by itself because I don't know, I guess it's the consistency of it, but it does not go on as smooth. So you need to mix it in with lotion so i don't know if you guys can see and the reason why you only want a little bit like you see i'm not just like shining 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 like cynthia's legs are when she's in atlanta <laughs> housewives like they just pour grease on them and it's better than being ashy so it's no shade i'm just saying it's a little too much oil and that's how you will look with this if you put too much in with your lotion so that's just a tip try it out um, use it for your feet, especially in the winter time. So all you're doing is grabbing this. Now, if you know you're not going to use it on any of your like lady parts, your butt and all that, because I do actually put lotion on my butt. Um, when I first get my lotion, I just take the top off. This one I can't because I didn't open this all the way. So I take the top off and I fill it up probably, I don't know, about this little third of a way with this. 
shake it up really, really good, and then you don't have to mix them each time. So, just food for thought. Never know. If it works for you, it works for me. Let me know how it works out for you. If you try it, let me know if you have any other suggestions for jewelry storage. I see a lot more things I'm going to bring to you ladies. I just did not have time to pick them up today, but I am going to go back. All right, have an awesome, awesome week. I'll talk to you ladies soon.